one of the biggest advantages is you get to meet the people. So you get to meet the employer, you get to actually have a, um, a conversation with them, you can dig into the opportunities that you don't necessarily get always from websites and from printed media. It's your opportunity to get face time with an employer. You're probably your first opportunity. You can get contact details of the person you're talking to, or you can quote that person at an interview. That sounds fantastic to an interviewer that tells me all about the career motivation and the desire and the hunger to come work for me. When actually it comes to applying for the job, the person they met at their careers fair, you have to consider that that could be the person you meet at the interview table and expect that that might be the case. So treat it like you're almost doing an interview. The students that we've met have been very strong. We've hired a number of students from careers fairs, um, both large ones like Grad Ireland and also the, the smaller ones within the universities as well. It's a great opportunity for us to meet the students, have a good chat with them and then we generally follow up with them just afterwards to see if it is a case that they're interested in the company and maybe a role that we've discussed and from there then we'll, we'll progress with them. People who come to careers fairs prepared and know what organisations they want to talk to get the most out of it. So to know exactly what information you're seeking and to be really, really engaged with the with the organisation, I think is really important. It's important to start going to the careers fairs and start meeting the different employers and organisations who are out there. Oftentimes students are really involved with their society work in college, which is fantastic. And then they might kind of start thinking, how can I apply this kind of work to my actual career? If graduates with disabilities have any specific questions around um, access or, or um, what their rights are around employment, they can come and visit us and ask us those specific questions and also it gives them a chance to ask face to face those questions about access to the employers they're looking to work for. What I love is when a graduate knows a little bit about the company before they come up and you know I don't expect you to know exactly what we do or where you can go in the company but it's nice to you know I've had graduates come up to me over the last couple of weeks and introduce themselves, say what they're studying, talk about their experience a little bit and they'll actually say why they've chose your stand to come up and chat to you. It can be quite a scary thing to come into a large recruitment fair such as the largest uh, graduate recruitment fair uh, here in the RDS uh, that Grad Ireland run annually. So what you should really do is make sure that you've looked online to see what employers are attending. You look to see what employers are in the sector that you're interested in working in. And then you make sure that you figure out a map or a time uh, schedule for yourself to get to each of those employers. You can ask the employers very open questions uh, like, what can you offer me? Why do you like working in this organisation, um, etc. So make sure that you have quite general questions that you're comfortable asking an employer and that shows that you can have initiative. Uh, but don't be afraid to ask employers questions because that's why we're here. That's why we put the effort into being at career fairs regionally or here in the RDS to make sure that you can ask us questions face to face.